Hello, and welcome back to episode 4 of the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. Um, today, we're going to be continuing to clean up the rest of the trainers from Route 3, and we're going to head through Mountain to Moon. Um, I gave Salamander the XP share, and we're going to go clean up those trainers. Now, with Salamander on the team, we're actually looking a lot better as far as type coverage. Um, having a fire type is pretty useful, but covers grass pretty well. As well as... Oh, this guy's in a trainer. Um, as well as ice and steel. Um, steel's a big concern, honestly, because it resists every single move we have except for fire. Steel in Gen 3, I think up, to, up till Gen 6, was really, really good. It might be Gen 5. I don't remember which generation they changed uh, Steel's resistances. Alright, so we're going to take down this Zubat. Because that leaps life super effective, but so is our Confusion. And that's a two-shot. And we... Should be uh, smooth sailing from here on. I'm sorry, I must have missed something. What just happened? Why was that not very effective? I'm lost. I'll have to look back on that and see what happened. That was weird. Um, let, let's send out PDF for a bit. Lord Helix definitely doesn't need any more experience. He's a really high level already. Um, I think, yeah, we're gonna go with Salamander instead of Nora. Because I'm not sure what Nora learns, and I also think Salamander will just be better overall. Um, I believe Spinner X part is poison, and he is. Alright. Nice level, or nice experience for PDF and Salamander. Ooh, a Suicune. Um, let's go to Goliath for Suicune. Because I'm pretty sure Suicune has decent special defense, but I think its defense is lower. So we'll just go for Vice Grips, and if it comes down to it and we don't do very much, oh, we're dead. I say, if we didn't do very much, we could always just uh, Seismic to Toss for consistent damage. Suicune Sprite in Gen 3 is really cool. Ton of experience for Salamander. A ton of experience for Salamander. He's already almost caught up to the party. I don't want to wear shorts. We got Schoolgirl Robin with a coughing. I believe PDF's out front again, so Psybeam should put in some pretty good work here. Open two shot? Yeah. I've actually also been thinking about uh, doing some recordings of one of the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem games. Um, if anyone would be interested, anyone would be interested in seeing that. Um, I'm a big fan of that game series as well. And uh, particularly the one I was thinking about was doing Fire Emblem 6, which is Roy's game from that you guys would probably likely know from Super Smash Bros. I'm poisoned. And we will go back and fix that. Just to be safe. Yeah, we're, we're golden. <laughs> Alright. So we'll be heading into Mount Moon. Mount Moon's gonna be a little rough with uh, Charmander being one of the wild Pokemon, honestly. Now 
now we head off into Mount Moon. So I'm hoping that the audio, like the sound takes for this, uh, this episode, because it didn't for the last episode. I just finished recording that one and editing it. Should be up by this point. But I, uh, I had to include some Glitch X City. Or not, I'm sorry, not Glitch X City, uh, Vanilla's Pavilion. Glitch X City also does Pokemon remixes that I'm also a big fan of. Also, also, also. I have a really bad habit of repeating my words when I talk. They tend to just come back into the sentence. Reap. Um, stay in with PDF. PDF's honestly a really strong member of our team. He's up there. Sorry about that, got interrupted. But I'm back. Fought that trainer down there. Um, did we fight her? Yes. Okay. So now we're heading to Mount Moon. My goals for this episode are to try to get through most of Mount Moon. If we can do that, Misty shouldn't be too far off. What am I doing? Am I still good on HP? Yeah. I've only used one or two moves, so I'm not that worried. Alright, there's a trainer on our left. Along with, I think, another item up here. Um, I'll just say now, I don't know where all the hidden items are, so I won't be getting all of those. I'll get the ones that I know about. Crawdon. Okay, we're gonna have to switch. Crawdon's dark type. Oh, and it's raining. That's actually kind of scary. Um... We're gonna go into Goliath. Man, Drizzle on a Crawdon's really good. Oh, he's got Vice Grip too. Now we get to see who has the higher stats. Um, if Vice Grip doesn't do very much, then we're gonna go with. Oh, it does. We're good. Otherwise, we would go with Sizing Toss. I was worried because Crawdon has a lot of defense, but it looks like it doesn't have very much health. Goliath's going to take down this Crawdont. And I'm back again. But uh, we're going to take down this Crawdont. And... We will keep going. Took another good level. And we got Metal Claw. Ooh, that is very good. Corefish. Um, oh, that's weird. He had a Crawdont and a Corefish. Huh. Take down this poor fish, and then we'll find this item. Gent Landon. got what we got we got a super repel yay <laughs> Togetix in here all right do you do it still in here that's strange randomizer did some weird stuff with this cave But yeah, um, I mean, even if you guys in general just have some stuff that you'd like to see, tell me, tell me about some of your favorite games, like that you'd like to see people play or would want to watch. Um, 
Like, I know for me personally, a lot of it was I had a hard time finding people that would do playthroughs of, like, Fire Emblem games that weren't, like, specifically challenge runs or weird things like that. Because um, I, I really, truly enjoy watching that game and seeing the people's mindsets and thought processes behind the, the strategies they impart in. So let me know what kind of stuff you guys would like. Mushroom. I'm gonna fight this guy. I should have switched. Oh, wait, no, he won't have steel types. Immediately went back to uh, normal Pokemon logic. I'm like, oh, he'll have steel types, but I have no idea what he'll have. <laughs> Got a Nidal King. That's weak to our Psybeam. I mean, he's also scary because he does he has a lot of attack and a lot of special attack. Luckily, we didn't get poisoned off that. Doesn't matter to PDF, though. He's gonna come in here with a crit and kill that Nidal King. This is going to be a ton of experience for PDF. And Salamander. Okay, we got to get that HP share off Salamander. Sceptile. Well, we're going to Salamander now. He's going to hit this guy with an Ember. Let's see how much that can do. Half, that's good. He's gonna try to absorb, see what he can get from us. And there goes down a Sceptile. He had a pretty strong team. And Salamander's level 15 now. Dang. Yeah, we definitely gotta take the XP share off Salamander. Gonna get way over leveled. We're actually gonna give it to Sid. And we're gonna keep leading with uh, PDF for right now, since PDF's doing so well. What we got here? Lumberry. That's useful. And we're gonna fight this bug catcher. Lely. Um, let's see how much Psybeam does. Oop, this might be a job for, uh, for Salamander if this goes south. stick in. I hope this doesn't do too much. I know Glalie has a pretty good... Yeah. It's a crit... Oh, we got frozen. Okay, we got us. Oh, we defrosted. Oh, yes! Not think I was gonna get that lucky. Um, let's go for another one. He crit last time. Wow, what are the odds of that? Using Powdered Snow, getting a crit, and freezing. Pretty sure freeze is a 10% chance on that. We got slack off, so that's health recovery. Magby. Magby, Magby, Magby. Let's go into Darwin. Get him a few levels. Since he resists the fire. I could have brought him in against the Glalie too, I guess. Fusion. He's 
snaps out. Dang it, Magby. Um, thinking about it, I might actually do start off that uh, Fire Emblem recording today. I gotta see if I can get my hands on the game. But uh, that's something I've been wanting to do, and I think I should. Salamance. Um, Salamance, I think we're gonna go to Lord Helix, because he has good defensive stats, and his bite should do a good bit of damage to this thing. Oh, not when I click the wrong button. Click the restrict or constrict. It's rage. Rage does one. Oh, plenty of damage from that. Let his rage build. I'm not that worried. He did one defense when our defense was or one damage when our defense was already down. Now he's using Bite, that'll do a bit more because it's special in this game. Bite's had a really weird history in Pokemon in particular because it was in Gen 1, but it was a normal type move. And then it be and it was physical then, because it was normal. But then in Gen 2, it was switched to a dark type move. And was then special, but then went back to being physical in 4th Gen with this physical special split just an interesting uh, piece of Pokemon history. Oh, can't escape. Darwin's slow. There we go. And we got a Quick Claw. We're gonna give that to Darwin. He seems to be our slowest member. There we go. So many Charmeleons. And we head north. I remember this guy. I don't remember if he battles, though. Hopefully we can get away. Yep. Not a battle. Not a battle. Got Geo, dude. Battle me. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. That's what you said. Misread that. I was very confused and concerned. All right, Biker Joe. Oh, it's Patrick Sr. Oh, poor Patrick. Um, how do we deal with Patrick Sr.? I think we stay in and just try to put it to sleep first. And then we can go into Goliath. There we go. Yeah, we'll go into Goliath and hit it with a vice grip. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we go into uh, we go into Lord Helix. And we use Bite because that's super effective, and we should be able to take any. I should switch those moves positions so I quit accidentally clicking constrict. <sighs> Sorry about that. I got a bit of a yawn. A bit sleepy. Sid's up to level 14. Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock. We'll stay with Lord Helix. Um, I am concerned, and I now realize that I very much should be, that this thing might explode. And as much as I hate to say it, if it explodes on anything, it's on Sid. If it explodes on anything, it's on Sid. Okay, Rock Throw. Does not look that he has that. Um, so we're gonna yawn it. And once we put it to sleep, we'll switch out to a special attacker. Alright, let's go 
we're back into Lord Helix now. That I'll fall asleep. I, I did not want to risk that because I do know that they have explosion before they have any other moves. All, all three of the Reggies, as far as I'm aware. So they're they're real scary early on in Nuzlocke's because they just like to show up and explode because they don't have another choice. Hopefully I can take this thing out before it does too much damage. Okay, we flinched it with a bite. This one might take it down. It does. Alright. Bullet dodged. Ignore the fact that I was willing to sacrifice to it. <laughs> um, how are we looking? We aren't looking great. What do we have as far if I can click the right buttons? Um, I have as far as heals. We have five potions. Let's top off PDF. And let's top off Goliath. And we'll we'll uh, we'll take the EXP share from Sid and give it to Darwin instead, and we'll lead with Goliath for a bit because Darwin's a little slow for this area to be able to dodge or to run away from all the Pokemon consistently. Togetic. Another fight three steps later. Maybe I should use a super repel. I think I will. Oh, I just remembered I have the running shoes. <laughs> I've been in such a habit of not pressing it. Also, I failed to use this. Sorry that, about that for everyone who was watching from home and was screaming at their screens, telling me to run. We'll be doing so from now on. We get a muck. Um, Goliath is not the one to fight muck. That is PDF. Easy. Okay, luckily he tried to disable before, or, yeah, before I used anything. I'm hoping this can take it down in two shots. Please don't disable me. And it misses his poison gas. Okay, PDF's looking good. I'm running out of side beams though. I only have seven left now. Goliath's level 14. Darwin's level 13. Scizor. Um, I'm really glad we got Salamander. Otherwise, this thing is scary as heck. But that quad weakness to fire makes Scizor a lot less scary. Don't get me wrong, he's still really strong. But he's not living in Ember. Especially not a crit. Salamander's heating it up. He's got a fire in his belly. Seeking. Not a match for Salamander. Um, but it is a match for Goliath. I really need to get my hand on, hands on a either grass or electric move. There's been a lot of water Pokemon recently. Oh, is that what happened last time? Did the guy have color change? That must be it. The Zubat must have had color change. That would make sense. That's, that's probably what I missed. Got a hiker here. Sailor Anne has her Growlithe. Didn't even ponder that thought. Didn't think it would have Ember yet. It's a good thing it's gone. Masker Rain will stay in. I do not have good answers for a lot of these Pokemon. I mean, 
mainly just comes down to having Goliath brute strength through it. Luckily, he's here to do that, though. <laughs> Level 14 on Darwin. Hariyama. Hariyama, we're actually going to go to Darwin instead of PDF, because PDF is is weak to his fighting type moves, whereas Starwin resists it. And they both have the psychic moves, so we're gonna not get hit by that. I know that Darwin doesn't have the attacks, their special attack stat that PDF does, but he should be able to take this thing out pretty easily still. Provided he doesn't miss. Uh, please hit. Voice crack. Okay, arm thrust. Ooh, that does more than I'd like. Um, please stop. We're gonna go into Goliath for the arm thrust that's gonna come, because that's also resisted, and we'll finish it off. Instead of wasting the potion. And we have Keen Eye. There we go. Ariyama's down. And that is going to be it for today, guys. In between episodes, I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and meet you guys back here. I'll see you guys next time.